Before choosing sources for a research paper, you need to recognize important differences between three broad categories of periodicals. Popular magazines, trade publications, and scholarly journals. One difference relates to the level of formality in writing styles and format. Here are some examples demonstrating what this means and why it matters. Most everyone is familiar with popular magazines like these. Short articles are written by journalists for the general public, so these are not the types of articles you'll rely on for in-depth academic research. And since writers are not expected to document their sources in this type of publication, you won't find bibliographies or works cited lists here. You may find informative articles appropriate for specific assignments, but popular sources are used sparingly for college-level papers. Some professors may limit the number you can use, and others may forbid them altogether. So check the assignment criteria or ask for clarification if you're not sure. The middle ground is occupied by trade or industry-specific publications. They're similar in appearance to popular magazines, but the articles are written for professional audiences and cover breaking news about developments in the field. Authors often include industry experts. For instance, this article on illegal Internet pharmacies is written by a legal expert with degrees in both pharmacy and law. Depending upon the industry focus, writing style is often more formal than in popular magazines. As you can see from this article in Chemical and Engineering News, language can be very technical and articles may even include a citation or a short bibliography. Depending upon the topic in the course, trade publications can be valuable sources on industry practices, but always check the assignment criteria. The most formal writing is found in scholarly journals. If you're looking for the most recent research in any discipline, this is where you'll find it. Journals are the primary means of communication among scholars throughout the world. Consequently, authors are expected to list their credentials, university affiliations, and contact information at the beginning or end of an article. Research articles are formally structured. This means that you can expect them to begin with an abstract, a brief summary of the study, and have clearly labeled section headings that include an introduction and a review of the most relevant research in the area, a method section describing how the study was conducted, a result section accompanied by graphs and statistics, and a discussion or conclusion section. A list of notes or references that appears at the end of each article. And, of course, other scholars' work is formally recognized and cited throughout the text. So no matter what your research topic is, this format exposes you to the larger body of scholarship in the field and can help you locate other sources. The use of scholarly articles is expected in almost all academic coursework, while non-scholarly sources tend to be used sparingly. So check assignment details or ask your professor before choosing what to use.